trust me, by the end of this video, you will have mastered the art of blurring both still and moving elements within a video. Here's what you're gonna learn. Can you really gonna infiltrate learn. his local bank? Nah, not really. What a pity. Good try though. So let us better blur that out of the video, right? What about this guy though? He's getting completely outplayed. What a shame. You know what? I'm gonna blur this dude's face out as well. Alrighty? First of all, let us have a look at how to blur static and still elements in Premiere Pro 2024. Let us start with our example from the intro. So how can we actually blur this access denied? First of all, head over to Effects. Then search for Gaussian Blur. Then drag and drop this effect onto your video clip. Then switch over to Effect Controls. And as we just want to blur this part here of the video, we will need to apply a mask to the video. We can do that here by either choosing an ellipse mask, a 4 point polygon mask or a free draw bezier. In our case here, this mask in the middle will just work fine. So I simply click on it and this mask will then be applied to your clip. Now in the timeline here, make sure that the blue cursor is actually positioned at the very beginning of the clip that you would like to blur it. After that in the program window, make sure to adjust the polygon mask. Once adjusted, you will see that still nothing is blurred, but this is totally normal because we have not yet increased the blurriness. To do that, we will now go back to the Effect Controls panel, and on the Gaussian Blur, we will simply increase the blurriness. And as you can see, we have now successfully blurred the excess denied. In the Effect Controls panel, you can then also apply something like Mask Feather in case you have very hard edges. Or you could use something like Mask Expansion if you find that your mask is a little bit too small. And this is how you blur a static or still element in Premiere Pro 2024. This obviously also works if you would just like to hide some sensitive information that always stays in the same position in your video. For example, here's the embarrassing balance in my crypto wallet. I don't necessarily need to share that with the world, right? Or maybe you would just like to blur some messages that you regret writing. No problem, it happens to all of us. But how to blur moving parts of a video in Premiere Pro 2024? Let us give our basketball player from the intro a helping hand. Once again, make sure to position the blue cursor here in the timeline at the very beginning of the video clip. Then go to Effects and search for Gaussian Blur. Drag and drop Gaussian Blur onto your video clip. Then click on Effect Controls. On the Gaussian Blur, click on the ellipse mask to add a mask to your video clip. It will then appear in the program window. We can now reposition this mask and place it over the head of our basketball player. As the mask is far too big for the moment, we are going to make it smaller. Use the anchor points to make it smaller. Simply left click and drag it inside. Once you're done, go back to effect controls. And now as we're actually dealing with a moving object, we need to use mask pass to track the movement of our object and make sure that the mask will follow along. This sounds very complicated, but it is actually pretty easy. Under mask here, make sure that mask pass is selected and then simply click here on track selected mask forward. This will take some time, so don't worry about that. Once it is done, on the timeline you will see that the blue cursor jumped to the end of the clip. Now move this cursor back to the beginning of the clip. Now on our effect controls panel under mask, make sure to increase the blurriness. This seems about right. Let us now play the clip. Pretty good, right? Now to make this even better, we can go through each frame and make adjustments where necessary. First of all, I will put the blue cursor back to the beginning of the clip. And now by pressing right arrow on your keyboard, you can actually go through this footage frame by frame. And for each frame, we will see how good the mask is working. To make sure that this works, it is important to make sure that the timeline here is selected and not our effect controls panel. You can see that by the blue line that is surrounding our timeline here. That means that our timeline panel is now activated. When I click here somewhere on effect controls, you will see that the blue line is now surrounding the effect controls. That's not what you want. So you have to make sure that the timeline here is selected. Once that is the case, press the right arrow on your keyboard and you will see that our footage is now moving frame by frame and we can make sure that the mask is always on point. So this looks pretty good until here, everything is completely fine. You can also press and hold right arrow in case you want this to move a little bit faster. This is all really great so far. Here you can see that our mask is a little bit off. So what you can do here in the program window, you can simply grab your mask and reposition it accordingly. Once that is done, before you press right arrow again, it is very important that you will first click on your timeline again and only after that press the right arrow to continue. So for the next frame here as well, we can see that the mask is a little bit off. So I'll reposition that as well. Then I click on the timeline again, forward one frame. Here it's all good. This is fine as well. Here I'm going to reposition a little bit again. And then you can simply repeat these steps to make sure that your mask is always spot on.
let us see the final result now. Perfect! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye!